cars are changing a lot these days, and not for the better. So let's talk about what these changes actually are, and how they especially affect us car guys. So let's just start with probably the most important one, small engines or straight up EVs. Of course there are factors like stricter emission laws and the push for better fuel efficiency and I don't see any problem with having these in normal everyday cars. But please keep performance cars out of this. Those little turbocharged 4 bangers can make a lot of power. They deserve the credit for that. They even make more power than many V8s. But there are some heavy downsides to them. They sound like trash and have no natural power. It's all just tuning them to the moon. And especially the sound is something we love so much. And the dramatic problem with tuning these engines so hard is that they are often less reliable. The engines are way more complex and have a bunch of engineering stuff going on in them. And with turbos that need to do a lot of stuff all the time, you have a lot of moving parts that will break and be replaced. So these high power 4 cylinders can be really expensive to maintain. And new cars just lack emotion. You don't get crazy sounds, vibration and the ability to feel power at low RPMs which 6, 8 or more cylinder engines have. A prime example is the new C63. It used to be a powerful V8 that was just awesome. And now it's a 4 cylinder hybrid. It might be faster and more powerful, but it sounds like this. The next point I want to talk about is that everything is just about numbers now. All these spec sheets not only care about your 0 to 60 type, how much horsepower have you got and what your top speed, wow. I mean like F that, I want to feel if I like a car, not base it on numbers. Always remember guys, love comes from your heart and not your brain, or it comes from a V8. Point number 3 is just general design. Cars used to be so unique, detailed and thoughtful, and now just minimalism. That's all these days. It's way cheaper to make them like that of course, because if you leave out details, you need less parts and need to spend less money as a manufacturer. Also less complicated shapes are easier to produce. So more and more cars just look and feel similar. Some companies use the same parts for many different models. So the days of special designs that make a statement seem to just fade away. The priorities in 2023 are mass appeal instead of individuality. The Honda E is a terrible example for that because I think it's a pretty cool car. I mean it literally looks unique even though it's so simple. So a better example are the EV Mercedes's. They look the same and they look boring. Even modern pickups. They all have the same giant grills and the rest is the same too. So now to the next point. And it is assistance for literally everything. You get some for parking, lane changing, holding your speed, braking. People don't drive anymore. They just chill on their phone, eat or do whatever. Why they let their car do its magic. That is freaking dangerous. Also with most new cars being automatic transmission only, people barely pay attention to driving at all sometimes. Automatic transmissions are faster and more efficient of course, but they are not engaging. And I mean in some super high performance cars, the speed, acceleration and the engine with its sound can make up for that. But only when you drive a manual transmission, you really think of what you are doing, because you need to be focused all the time. And I can have that opinion. I'm far under age and getting my driver's license and I'm doing it manual only. I seem to be pretty freaking good and one of the few people who don't make it with an automatic. And like by the way, my instructor was surprised from the first lesson on that I knew what to do and did it pretty decently. And now to problem number 5, it's the impact on the car culture. The switch to smaller engines and less unique designs heavily affects the car community. The excitement and passion for cars is in some cases completely lost. And other people just go back to old cars because they still have the old engines and the old designs. The car community as a whole has been around for a long time by now and it is facing hard times now. So we'll see how it's turning out for us. So in conclusion, there certainly are benefits and advantages to modern cars like being more comfortable and easier to drive. But many car enthusiasts are let down. We don't want the things that they update. We want big and loud engines. We want cool designs and individualism to express ourselves. So comment down below what you think about this. So now unrelated to the topic, I want you guys to know that I'm super busy at the moment. It's exam time again and they are freaking hard. So I will still upload at least once a week, but it's gonna be closer to 7 days instead of the usual 4 to 5. I also think of changing my channel name. I don't really have any good ideas yet. So maybe just reach out to me if you actually have a good one or if you just wanna chat. So now just leave a like if you think that modern cars are not what you want either. So enjoy the rest of your day and maybe I'll see you in another one.